Hey guys, thanks for joining me. This is Manny Lopez, creator of Manny Bucks, and today I'm going to show you guys simply how to create your wallet, right? So let's say you already got your Manifestation account set up, you're earning free Manny Bucks, now you want to start receiving those. Well, you need to set up your trust wallet. So let me show you the step-by-steps on how to do this. So if uh, you didn't get to this part, like, well, how do you get to that page, Manny? Well, that's simple. Go to mannybucks.com, all right, B-U-X. Once you're there, you're going to see here, scroll down, you'll see Trust Wallet. Click on that. It's going to tell you to download an app. This is why you want to do it from your phone. You need this app on your phone. So you're going to pick either Apple or Google. Right, I'm on Google, so I'm going to pick Google. And you're just going to install. Right, It may take a couple seconds, depending if your, uh, your Wi-Fi is connected or what have you. My kids are uh, blowing up the Fortnite, so I don't know. It might be a little slow. Jeez, look at this. Look at this. This is like, like dial-up right here. This is crazy. All right, so while we're seeing that, uh, I'm going to give you guys um, really a quick, easy step-by-step -step to this. So what you're going to need is make sure you have a pen and paper handy. You're going to need to write down a 12-word passphrase. Okay, 12 words. And it's got to be in exact order. Otherwise, it ain't going to work. All right, so be ready with that piece of paper. Pause this if you need to. All right, so I'm going to open this up. And you'll see right when it open up, it's going to start going through private and secure, private keys, never leave your device, all assets in one place, trade assets, explore decentralized apps, all kinds of full, cool stuff you can learn there. Uh, but it gives you two options, either create a new wallet or if you already have a wallet, click here. Now, if you already have a wallet, you're probably not needing to watch this video. So let's go to create a new wallet. And it's going to tell you back up your wallet now. The next step, you'll see 12 words that allow you to recover a wallet. Okay, so if you ever get logged out or you need to find a new device, your wallet, uh, you'll need this 12-word passphrase. So you'll check this off, letting them know that, hey, if I do not recover, if I lose my recovery words, I, I cannot access my wallet. So it's just like losing your password, right? But there is no recover password. Remember your password, all right? Write it down. Put it in multiple places. So I got a recovery phrase. What I'm going to do initially, uh, just because I'm just going to do this quickly, is I am going to just save it on my notes area. I recommend not keeping it anywhere it syncs online. Keep it very private, all right? Uh, all right, because <clears throat> you need to write, write these down because the next area, it's going to ask you to, to verify it. You need to verify your recovery phrase. So now i got to put them in order. Typical above decorate injury. Now I'm saying these out loud even though I'm not supposed to. But uh, I'm not going to be using this wallet, so this is fine. Typical above decorate injury. Typical above decorate injury. All right, typical above decorate injury. Fragile hospital maximum offer. Fragile hospital maximum offer. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Maximum offer. Garage hawk cousin defy. Garage hawk cousin defy. It's almost a sentence there. So I click done and boom, my wallet is created. Now screenshot this, okay? Because uh, Or write this down. You need to remember the name, Multicoin Wallet One, whatever the name comes up here for you, write that down. Because uh, you'll need that, your name, um, and write this down, Multicoin Wallet. So it's either one of these. I think it's the top one you're going to need. Because um, I did, did that, yeah. Multicoin Wallet One. So whatever this right here, you're going to need that if you ever need to log in. So write that down, right? That can be edited as well. You can change it, make some edits on that, click it in the settings and change the wallet name, whatever you'd like to name it, all right? Now, how do you get Manny Bucks listed here? I see Bitcoin, I see Ethereum. Where's Manny Bucks? All right, here's how you get Manny Bucks. Go back to mannybucks.com, okay? You'll see there. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. Boom. All the way to the bottom, you'll see... This information, token address, name, symbol, decimals. There's a reason for this. You'll need it right now. So c copy all this. Just that first line. Okay. Copy. Go back into Trust Wallet. And this is what you're going to do. See at the top here, you see a plus sign? You're going to do it twice. One. It's going to take you to all the list of all the other cryptocurrencies in here. And then click it again. Boom. It says add custom token. Very simple, just press paste. You're already on the Ethereum network, so that's good. That's where we need to be at. It should look like this. You should see 0x84a and a bunch of numbers and characters. That right there is the exact 
numbers you should be seeing. If you do not see those numbers, you did it wrong. You just got to go copy those exact numbers from the page. Now, the next area is very simple. Name, Manny Bucks, symbol, Bucks, B-U-X, all caps for the B-U-X. Decimals, very simply, two. All right, so it should look just like this. You should see zero, X, eight, four, and a bunch of numbers. Numbers will end in four, four, zero. So nine, nine, four, four, zero, all right? So this should all look accurate. If it doesn't look like this, you didn't do it right. But if it looks like this, press done. And then you'll see it all the way at the bottom with ERC20 Manny Bucks. It's exactly what you should see. It'll be checked on. That means it's on. It's showing in your thing. And boom. Now you've got Manny Bucks. All right. So this is where you can receive it. Now, there's another video on how to actually receive these. Right? You're going to use this receiving address. And, uh, and you can also receive using your QR code. Right? And even send invoices. Check this out. Let's say somebody needs to send me a thousand Manny Bucks. Well, now they can use this QR code and send me exactly a thousand Manny Bucks. It'll put it in. It'll put it in the amount automatically for them. So we'll have a whole detailed video on how that works. So go check that out, guys. We'll see you in the next one.